Hey everyone, Shayfire here, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Sun. On the last episode, we were swarmed by Zubats. I mean, swarmed. Let's see if that happens again. Ooh, Lepaberry. Chesto. I haven't heard of these kinds before. Oran. Sweet. I want that Growlithe that was here. Give me the Growlithe. Ooh, it's a cutie fly. That one's adorable. That's not Calibrion. Oh, wait. I caught my Pokemon back. Sweet. That's nice that they actually healed my Pokemon. I meant to cap it instead of beating it. So I guess I'll have to wait on capturing a cutie fly. Trainers who take part in the island challenge and trials get to see their whole world grow. Okay, so this is Route 3. Awesome. I happened to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by wild bird Pokemon. What adorable little pests they are! Ha ha ha! That's how I picture him sounding. All like. That is a shadow. That must be the bird. Of course, it would be a sparrow. I think I already have one of these captured. I guess I do. Like a pound is just I slap you with my fin. Okay, so there might be some stuff up here. No. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these well leads to victory. I'm more good at male voices. Challenged by Rising Star Ian. You're a rising star and you have one Pokemon, really? And it's a Psyduck. Oh, well. You a Psyduck. Let's see, you got your level 13, I got my level 17. I just wanted to slap you with my steel fan. I want to see if I can just have one battle where all I do is slap him with my steel fan. And then he's not going to do anything to me because it's water versus water. He's taking down like four. I don't know what I'm taking down, but I'm getting more than him. As I slap him with my fin. Yeah, that one did three. It's like, yeah, okay, buddy, you're not doing that great. Right? You're not doing so hot. But there we go. I didn't even use a water move. I just slapped him with my fin. I couldn't show off the effects of abilities. His face just looks so disappointed and so sad. Like, yeah, you know you lost. You know you lost. Jelly bird! It looks cute! It means I want it. I want the daily bird. Oh, it's so cute! Give me a little present! 
We're just like battling each other with cuteness over here. It's kind of funny. Okay, so apparently when... So apparently when there's two Pokemon out, I can't actually, like... I can't actually, like, capture it, so I have to get rid of the helper, and then I can capture it. It's like trying to kill me with cuteness over here by, like, giving me a presence, and it's adorable! But it's like, I want you down so I can try and capture your buddy. didn't appear, which means I can capture it. I want it. I want it badly. I want this deadly bird. Did my Pokeball not work? Nope, I'm using a great ball just because I want this jelly bird. Don't, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not call for help. Do not. I just want this deli bird. Do not, I do not want to kill it. I do not, please, 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 please. no, 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 no. Oh god. It was the only thing I could do because it wasn't gonna let me capture it at all. I'm sorry, Daily Bird. I'm sorry. I wanted you so badly. Oh well, there goes the heal ball I just used. Do you have any preferences about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? What? Oh, of course, it's gonna kick my butt. And yet I am gonna be stubborn and not swap out. Yep, this is gonna get me. One hit done. I knew it. It's okay, Brion. You are always special. My butter for you. Oh, of course. Poison doesn't affect it. But you know what? At least the grass thing is not very effective. There we go. Done. More preferences, please. A 
and now it's time to do some self-care onto my Pokemon. Butterfree, how I love you. Alright, back in the Pokeball you go, Butterfree. Back in the Pokeball. But as of now, you are my primary Pokemon for this, so... There's something over... Like, what is in this part of the zone? Seeing kids like you journeying together with your Pokemon really soothes my soul. Thank you. I think I'll give you something. A Soothe Bell. A Pokemon will feel even friendlier towards you if you give it that Soothe Bell to hold. Its clear chiming sound is so pleasant. Thank you, dude. Yep, I can't get to there yet, so that's gonna be like at a later part where when I have all the, like, TMs and stuff. I am a trainer who uses the red card item. I want to be shaken by your strength. I want to face you when you've shown that you can defeat every last trainer on Route 3. Arrogance much? I think that's some bit of arrogance right there. Ooh, this is pretty. Mele Mele Meadow. Nebby! Nebby, come back! Ah, Shay. Nebby ran off into the meadow here. And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use to battle. Zzz, hurry it up and save Nebby already! We little Pokemon need all the help we can get! Okay, so not that way. Cutie fly! keep killing these cutie flies in one hit and I'm really, I don't want to. Ooh, a yellow nectar. It's gonna be a cutie fly and I'm gonna focus on not killing it. Ooh, cottony. Please don't, please don't. God damn it. I want to actually capture things sometimes. My girlfriend always disappears somewhere. Maybe she's the type who can't help wandering off when she spots something interesting. Okay, you're not a trainer looking to battle. Alright, let's see. Can I not kill it this time? Let's see how confusion works. I partly feel bad when it's like, it's help didn't appear, but at the same time it feels good. But I feel kind of bad because it's just like, oh, poor Pokemon calling for help and no one shows up. Okay, cutie fly. Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna poison you. And then just continue trying to bag you.
Do I have it? Yes, I got the cutie fly, finally. It feeds on the nectar and pollen of flowers. Because it's able to sense auras, it can identify which flowers are about to bloom. That's neat. So I got a new Pokemon, which is cool, because I wanted it. And I'm once again making my Butterfree happy. I'm giving it all the candies and all the loving. Cool, I got a great ball. Okay, so Nebby disappeared off somewhere over here. Okay, here's the strategy. Poison powder. Never mind, it doesn't affect it. Let's see, can I stun spore? Never mind. gonna gust and pray I don't kill it. And it did. That's okay. I'll eventually get one. It was just being super annoying. I guess like Butterfree versus Cottony is not the best battle for when you want to actually capture it. gonna gust all the time have the wind blow in the breeze okay my butt of right but of is gonna get some hair The good news is that I didn't kill one of them, so I can always kill the other one and then attack that other Cottony with the Pokeball. Because, like, if he stops... Oh, okay, he didn't call for help that time, which means that...
Here we go. I caught the cottony. Finally, I caught one of these guys, considering how many I've run into and killed in one hit. When it finds others of its kind, they all stick together. When enough of them have collected, the mass resembles a cum cum cumulonimbus cloud. I'm just going to send them to the box. And another little brush session for my... Another little brushing session for my Butterfree! I just want my Butterfree to love me. There's Nabby. Oh, you. Thank you, Shay. And I should thank Butterfree, too. Here, let me at least do this. You know, I read something interesting in the book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Back into the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. And I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. Hey, O'Shea! Oh, and Lily's with you, too! What are you up to, How? What are you up to, How? Just finished up my trial! <laughs> hey, Shay! I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Okay. Your challenge by Pokemon Trainer How. Oh, God, of course. Of course, his first Pokemon out was going to be a Pikachu. You know what? We don't care. We're still going to beat his butt. What does that one do? It says it's effective. Let's see how much damage it actually does. Oh no, I'm paradise. But I got the Pikachu, so that's good. I think Layton is still so cute. and it's cute. Oh man, I wanted to show off my Pokemon's best side more. Medicine to help it out with its paralysis. Mm. 
Okay. So, you and me both beat that totem on Pokemon, huh, Shay? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. But I wonder if I'll ever really be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. Hey there, Shay. Knew I could count on you, yeah? Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this, then? How? You finished your trial- your first trial, too? I bet you used some styling moves, yeah? <laughs> right. Hala's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's kahuna. Taking on the island kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. This is the finally time for you to take on Hala himself. Get yourself back off to Iki Town, if you dare to. Alright guys, we're gonna end the episode here. We got a lot done. We've kind of made it... We've progressed further in the storyline, which I'm really happy about. And next time, we'll see if we can get all the way through Route 3 and head back to Iki Town. Alright, take care everyone. Bye!